If you must cross into the oncoming lane as you make a turn, you should watch for oncoming traffic. A key principle to remember about loading cargo is to keep the load balance in the cargo area. When you must stop on a one-way or divided highway, you should place your reflective triangle at which of the following locations? 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Which of these statements is true about the tire pressure? Air pressure in the tires increases with temperature. If your brakes get wet while driving on a rainy day, what can happen when you apply the brakes? Trailer jackknife. If you need to leave the road in a traffic emergency, you should avoid braking until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. If cannot see well with your headlights when driving in an area with few streetlights on clear night, you should use your high beams when legal and keep your interior light off. Implied consent means when you sign the driver license application form, you give your consent to be for alcohol in your blood. To determine a person's blood alcohol concentration, you must know how much the person weighs. Which of these statements is true about drugs? Use of drugs can lead to collision and or arrest. You should signal continuously while turning because you need both hands on the wheel to turn safely. When doctor prescribes medication for you and you know you'll be driving, you should ask the doctor if the medication will affect your ability to drive. When approaching a traffic light that has been green for a long time, you should start slowing down so you'll be ready to stop. A helper should be used to help back your vehicle whenever possible. You are performing a pre-trip inspection on your brakes and suspension system. Which of these statements is true? Brake drums should not have oil or grease on them. If a straight vehicle, no trailer or articulation goes into a front wheel skid it will travel straight ahead even if you turn the steering wheel. Which of these is not required knowledge for drivers needing hazmat endorsement? Basic chemistry. In bad weather, many car drivers tailgate large vehicles. You should increase your following distance to avoid the need to make a quick change. Confederal inspectors inspect your truck or bus. Yes, and they can put it out of service. When driving on grades, which of these is the best choice for a safe speed? Based on your vehicle and its car guard, select a speed that is safe within the posted speed. Which of these is not a danger when an automatic transmission is forced into a lower gear or high speed? Loss of steering control. When driving at night, use your low beams when an oncoming vehicle is within 500 feet. You should schedule your driving for the hours you are normally awake. Which of these is a danger of crossing railroad tracks on dirt roads? You could get hung up halfway across the tracks. What is the best advice for drivers to follow when a heavy fog occurs? Park at rest area or truck stop until visibility is better. Which of these is not a proper use of vehicle lights? Flashing your brake lights to stop someone tailgating. To avoid a crash, you had to drive onto the right shoulder. You are now driving at 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back onto the pavement? If the shoulder is clear, stay on it until your vehicle comes to a stop. The move back onto the pavement when it is safe. 
You were driving on a straight level highway at 50 miles per hour with no vehicle in front of you. Suddenly, a tire blows out on your vehicle. What should you do first? Stay off the brake until the vehicle has slowed down. It's important to shift gears correctly to keep control of the vehicle. If you do not have a hazmat endorsement on your commercial driver license and are asked to deliver hazardous materials in a placarded vehicle, you should refuse to transport the load. Trucks and buses are subject to certain laws, regulations. Which of these statements is true? Laws and regulations can vary from place to place. What is the term for a commercial vehicle's habit of winging while on turns? Off tracking. Containerized loads are generally used for freight carried part away by rail or ship. You are checking your wheels and rims during a pre-trib inspection. Which of these statements is true? Rust around wheel nuts may mean they're loose. The best drivers are those who watch and prepare for hazards. This is called being defensive. When hydraulic brakes fail, the system won't build up pressure and the brake pedal will feel spongy or go to the floor. What action should you take? Pump the brake pedal to generate pressure. You are driving on a two-lane road. An oncoming driver drifts into your lane and is headed straight for you. Which of these is the best action to take? Steer to the right. Convex curve mirrors show a wide area than a flat mirror. What three things add up to the total stopping distance for your truck or bus? Perception distance, reaction distance, braking distance. You should use your mirrors to check where the rear of your vehicle is while you make turns. What happens to tire in road pavement during hot weather? It bleeds, making the road surface slippery. When looking ahead of your vehicle, you should look back and forth, here and far. The purpose of retarders is to help slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. Which of these is a good thing to remember when crossing or entering traffic with a heavy vehicle? Heavy vehicle need larger gaps in in traffic than cars. What is counter steering? Turning the steering wheel back in other direction after steering to avoid traffic emergency. The braking effect of the engine is greatest when the engine is the governed RMPs and the transmission is in the gears near to lower. When starting to move up a hill from a stop, release the parking brake as you apply engine power. For a first offense of driving a commercial vehicle under the influence of alcohol or drugs, you'll lose CDL for at least one year. What will help keep an engine cool in hot weather? Making sure the engine has the right amount of oil. Which of these statements is true about speed and distance? Choose a speed that lets you stop within the distance you can see ahead.